this video, we will take an in-depth look at the ERAD PAX Mammography Module. The Mammography Module includes features, tools, and hanging protocols dedicated to the display and handling of mammography studies. The ERAD PAX Mammography Module provides a single workstation solution. Multiple modalities can be viewed side by side. You can view mammograms, ultrasounds, MRIs, and 3D tomosynthesis synthesis all on the same workstation. CAD support. The module enables a display of CAD results from iCAD Second Look, Hologic Image Checker, formerly R2, and ViewComp MView. Digital Breast Tomosynthesis Support. Create user-specific hanging protocols for 3D mammography studies. Mammography-specific tools. Preset mammography hanging protocols, skin line detection tools, and quadrant zooming, to name a few. An AIE post-processing option. AIE processing allows users to display and manipulate higher clarity images of dense tissue. Let's begin by taking a look at the user's options for opening studies from the work list. With my work list expanded, I can quickly view studies ready for interpretation as well as any relevant priors. By using the group open icon, I can open the current study and relevant priors into the ERAD PAX viewer with one click. I can also choose not to have my work list expanded like so. To open studies from this type of work list, I have two options. First, I can click on the patient name, which will do one of two things. If the patient has prior studies, you will be redirected to another page outlining all of the patient studies. From here, I can pick and choose which studies I want to view by using the multi-selection checkboxes on the work list and clicking the batch open icon. If the patient does not have any prior studies, clicking on the patient name from the work list will immediately open the single study in the viewer. I will be using the expanded by relevant prior work list for the remainder of the video. A work list like this one can be configured to pre-stage or pre-cache current and relevant prior images to the local workstation, which will minimize image loading time. Let's group open patient Clarice Starling. The ERAD PAX mammography module includes four predefined hanging protocols designed specifically for mammography. Expand the template drop down menu to see these options. The MG screening protocol is best suited for a typical screening mammography with multiple prior studies like the one currently opened in the viewer. Please note it is not necessary to always manually select the hanging protocol. The viewer will learn to automatically apply specific hanging protocols as you use the system. You may also define the default hanging protocol to be used for all mammography studies. We will review this process a little later. This hanging protocol consists of eight pages or steps and begins with a priors over currents overview. The top row of image frames spanning across two diagnostic monitors display the most recent prior. The bottom row of image frames display the current study. The patient has two additional prior studies. By using the next prior tool, I can quickly replace image frames containing prior images with the next set of images with matching series descriptions. I'm applying the next prior tool by using its default keyboard shortcut, which is Control and Page Down. Control and Page Up is the default keyboard shortcut for the previous prior tool. Later, we will review alternative methods for applying these ERAD viewer tools and functions. Notice the primary status DICOM overlay as I apply the next prior tool. This DICOM overlay changes to reflect which prior study I am currently viewing. The most recent prior set of images will be labeled Prior 1. The second set of images are labeled Prior 2, so on and so forth. I can also drag and drop the prior study thumbnail header into any prior image frame to swap prior image sets. Let's continue through this multi-page hanging protocol. To move from one page to another, the user has several options. I can click on a specific page of the navigation bar.
I can also click the Next Page icon located on the Template Toolbar. I can also use the default keyboard shortcut, which is Control and Right Arrow. The user also has the option to add it to their custom right-click menu if they desire. Page 2 of the MG Screening Protocol displays the current right CC and left CC views in a one-up layout with the prior exam views stacked behind it. This function is called Series Stack and allows the user to scroll through the timeline. Page 3 displays the right MLO and left MLO as the CCs were displayed on page 2. Page 4 is the first of the one-up comparison views. It displays the current right CC on the primary monitor and the prior right CC on the secondary monitor. Remember, this page contains a prior image frame, which means the next prior slash previous prior tool can be used here. Page 5 compares the current left CC with the prior left CC views. Page 6 compares the current right MLO with the prior right MLO views. Page 7 compares the current left MLO with the prior left MLO views. By default, page 8 has been designated for scanned documents, but it can be configured to account for any additional mammographic views, such as repeated or exaggerated views. Now that we've seen how one of the predefined hanging protocols works, let's walk through the process of creating a custom hanging protocol set from scratch. First, you want to make sure you are not currently using an existing hanging protocol set. Select the tilde 1 series hanging protocol from the template toolbar to ensure this. Next, select your first image frame layout from the grid layout toolbar. Drag and drop images into desired image frames. By doing this, you're instructing the viewer on what to hang and where to hang it. The viewer will record image attributes such as series description, image laterality, view position, and prior or current image status. Ancillary attributes such as linking, fit to anatomy, and CAD state are also recorded by the viewer. So be sure to apply them while you are creating a custom hanging protocol. Click the add page icon to create the next page or view in your hanging protocol. Repeat this process until you are satisfied with your hanging protocol. Remember to apply any ancillary attributes to each view. Click the Save icon located on the Template Toolbar when you are finished. Name the protocol, then click OK. Let's take a look at what my custom hanging protocol set looks like in real time. Actions such as zoom and pan are applied simultaneously on linked images, so no duplicate adjustment is necessary. Grayscale of the breast image can be inverted, leaving the rest of the data black to make visualization easier.
Earlier, I mentioned a configuration setting that can set a default hanging protocol for a specific modality. Let's walk through setting the custom hanging protocol that I just created as my default for all MG studies. From the right click context menu, select Settings, Customize Settings, and the Layout tab. Uncheck the box next to Use Hanging Protocol Assistant. Uncheck the box next to Use Default Template from the Template section. Expand the drop down menu and select the hanging protocol you wish to use as your default. Uncheck the box next to Show Layout Manager. Recheck the box next to Use Hanging Protocol Assistant and click OK to save this configuration. The ERED PAX Mammography module allows each user to create their own hanging protocol for digital breast tomography studies. Tools such as the Show Scale Ruler are available to help the user locate their position within the 3D tomosynthesis sequence. And just like any other hanging protocol, ancillary attributes are always recorded and applied. During the building of my custom hanging protocol set, you may have noticed I was using a new toolbar within the ERED PAX viewer. That toolbar consists of six new icons. Snap to image renders the selected image at full resolution with the selected area respectively justified in the image frame. Snap to anatomy renders the selected image at full resolution with the first detected part of the breast. Invert window level on anatomy inverts the window level setting of the breast image data only. Show skin line. Show or hide the skin line. Fit the breast. Magnifies the image so the breast is maximally displayed to the shorter edge of the image frame. Enhance the ROI. Activates a floating panel containing the AIE enhanced image data of the image behind it. We will talk about AIE processing in more detail shortly. Lastly, there is a view progression function. Although not an icon, it is accessible from the top menu, right click context menu, or keyboard shortcut. All of these tools can be mapped to an external keypad like this XKeys24 or any other programmable device. The view progression tools function is commonly referred to as quadrant view, smart zoom and pan, or actual pixels in other software programs. It is used to progress forward and backward through an image one segment at a time with a one-to-one -one pixel resolution. Additionally, each pixel will be displayed exactly one time per segment before segments are repeated. Let's take a look at how this works and the various options available to engage it. The ERAD PAX Mammography module supports Mammography CAD overlays from iCAD Second Look, ViewComp MView, and Hologic Image Checker, formerly R2. These overlays are shown and hidden by clicking this icon on the presentation toolbar. When CAD overlays are applied, the icon will be displayed in this manner. When CAD overlays are hidden, the icon will be displayed like so. CAD overlays can be controlled manually, as just shown, or by integrating the CAD state as part of a hanging protocol view. When I created these views, the CAD overlays were hidden.
created page 7, they were displayed. The toggling of CAD can be mapped to a custom keyboard shortcut just like any other viewer function. Let's take a look at how easy it is to create a custom keyboard shortcut. First, click on the Start Record button on the Macro Toolbar. Select the CAD toggle icon. Click the Pause icon on the Macro Toolbar. Name the macro. Click the Change button. Press the key or combination of keys that you wish to bind the function to, then click Save. You may also add this custom keyboard shortcut to your right-click context menu by selecting the Macro Manager icon located on the Macro Toolbar. Select the custom macro, then click the Add button. The optional AIE Enhancement plugin assists in visualizing and evaluating subtleties in digital mammograms. It is a separately licensed complementary plugin to the ERAD PAX mammography module. The image shown here had the AIE processing applied to them automatically. You can see that the processing algorithm enhances the clarity of dense breast tissue, making abnormalities more easily seen. I can configure the plugin to automatically produce the enhanced image, or I can apply the processing manually. To view AIE results, I have two options. I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse. The top left corner of the image frame and series description will display an AIE icon and text when applied. I can also use the enhanced ROI icon on the MAMO toolbar. This tool will only be enabled when an AIE processed image exists. AIE's configuration settings can be found from the top menu or right-click context menu in Post Processing, AIE, Configure. Dedicated mammography workstations typically use specialized keypads to streamline workflow. Hanging protocol views and mammography-specific tools are easily managed with these keypads. ERAD offers a pre-configured X-Keys device. We have programmed the top row of keys to provide a quick way to enable useful annotation tools, manually generate AIE processed images, and toggle CAD overlays on or off. Large next and previous buttons control hanging protocol page progression. The next prior and previous prior image sets are displayed in the appropriate hanging protocol page by using the wide keys on the bottom corners of the device. Quad next and quad back buttons allow the user to apply the one-to-one -one auto zoom and pan feature, also known as view progression. The magic glass and invert breast tools are mapped to these buttons. The predefined MG implant default protocol can be applied by selecting the implants HP set button. Any user defined custom hanging protocol can be enabled with the custom HP set button. To learn more about the ERAD mammography module, please visit erad.com Thank you for watching.